So Dillian White's brother stopped somebody getting on an aeroplane, getting off an aeroplane at 35,000 feet. But yet what? Hey, <laughs> right? the man walked straight through customs at Dubai. Nobody said a word. You'd have thought they'd cut his arm off in Dubai, wouldn't you? Well, we didn't want to grass him up though. But nobody's seen this. Nobody's seen it. They've only heard about it, but nobody's seen it, so I don't get it and I don't believe it. If somebody can fetch me, guy, I'll believe it then, but until then, it's a load of baba. Baba. Dillian's going on saying that he's not Eddie Hearn's favourite. They're like best mates, they go for lunch. What's all that about? Trying to create fake beef between me and him and Eddie Hearn. Jesus. If you don't like Eddie Hearn, leave him. You don't have a matchroom contract with him. Leave him. Fight Povetkin and leave! Hit the road, Jack, if you're not happy. If he can't deliver for you, hit the road. Anybody else, any other fighter in world boxing who's promoter, if he's that bad towards him and can't get him a title shot, you'd leave, wouldn't you? Grow a pair and leave because he's not going to do. If you get in pay-per-view fights against old men like Brown and... I'm not saying, look, if you're getting paid for real fights against Povetkin, which is your third third one in, third in an handful of fights who's over 40 year old, of course you're not going to leave, are you? It's like, for example, say we've got fighters wheels and say they're getting 12, 10, 12 grand a fight and they're hard 50, 50 fights. If we can give them an easy one for the same money, they're going to be buzzing, aren't they? Fighters just like to knock people out, but every now and then you've got to step up, haven't you? So, Dillian's saying he don't think he's Eddie Hearn's favourite. Joshua's favourite. Eddie tells you that, tongue in cheek though, doesn't he? he? Dillian's on his fifth pay per view. He's not even been near a European title yet. Never mind a world title. He's on his fifth pay per view. Hearn's. Look, I give Eddie Hearn some stick, and these 12 reasons are points that I don't like how Eddie Hearn conducts his business, but. Eddie Hearn's delivered for Dylan White, hasn't he? Because let's have it right, they keep wheeling pensioners out for him to knock out. Or to fight. So, Dylan White's there for taking at the moment. He's there to be beat. But I don't think Povetkin can pull the trigger now. Pull the trigger, sorry. Povetkin, we're told, is number seven in the world by Umar, IFL Umar. I don't think he's number seven. I don't think he's number seven. And still a threat. And still game. You know when a, you know when people like Mr. Bean, Adam Smith, Bean! Brother Bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked bean. Baked bean. Where's my jelly bean box? He's nicked me jelly beans. So look. I thought he looked awful against Hunter. I thought Hunter beat him. And I thought, yes, I thought he lost against Hunter, but a draw suited Eddie Hearn, didn't it? Because he can still put them both out again. Then we move on to the piece de resistance. Joshua, born in England, versus Pulev, born in Bulgaria. Pulev's next birthday, he's 40. When he fights Joshua, his birthday after that, he's 40. So what is this? An old age pensioners convention in a boxing ring? So there are your three pay-per-views. It's 40th year. It's classed as a homecoming for Joshua fans and the scripts are now wrote for Joshua. Joshua's speech afterwards uh, in ring. You know, remember his speech after Parker where he wanted, or at Povetkin, where he said he wanted to keep it in UK. Fought fans, fought fans. Keep it in UK? Been to Saudi and New York. Well, let me tell you this. They don't want to keep it in UK. Hearn has hoard this fight all over, Joshua versus Pula. Vegas casinos, New York, even tried to get it in a stadium in Texas. And look what's happened, eh? They can't, Saudi don't want it, Nigeria don't want it. Nobody wants the Pula fight, so they've had to come back to England with his tail between his legs. So they're going to spin it as, this is for the fans. When reality is... It was about the seventh or eighth choice on the list. They didn't want to go to Tottenham. They wanted to stay on the road. But like I said, after that stinky performance against Ruiz, it looks like uh, it looks like it's up. The, the Nigerians didn't want to know. So, so let's have a look. 
well, he's going to have it in UK in here at Tottenham's ground where they're going to have UK judges, uh, UK refs, and all and all the super casuals. Now, I don't refer to these casuals anymore as casuals. They're not. They're not human. They are not casuals no more. They are. Super casuals. Super casuals. They're not casuals. They're super casuals. So I don't want to see anybody commenting saying the casuals in my comment section. I'm like, winds me up. Super casuals is the name. You know, like you get Superman. You get a man like me, and then you get Superman. Well, you get casuals. And the super casuals, these are now super casuals. They're not normal everyday people, are they? So there you go, have it. So there you go, you've got three pay per views shows. One's got nine losses, all of them are not from England apart from one. So you've got six fighters, three pay per views, and only one of them's born in England. They call me Punch. They call me Punch. Boom. Must be crazy. Well, I won't be buying it. So in space of what, 49 days? It's actually it's just under. It's an hour under. In space of a, a I know they're all in England, aren't they? Space of 49 days, seven weeks. We've got free pay per view. We've got one man 40 odd fighting Dylan White. We've got one man in his 40th year fighting Joshua. And the other one we've got with nine losses. Zimbabwe and fighting a Ukraine. Unbelievable. Seven years ago we had a Carl Froch and Boote. Seven years ago, Carl Froch Boote, non pay per view in Nottingham, England. So, and finally, number 12, which brings me to the last one Complete the Dirty Dozen of. Ed, complete dirty dozen of Edward Herms, Edward Hearn's crimes against boxing. The gym. The com against boxing. The the complete abuse of social media, with his little club, his little cult of IFL hangers-on, who dare ask a real question. We have this Umar IFL Umar going about pushing the narrative like the rest of them. Everyone in the industry knows what's going on, but don't say a word. I know promoters, trainers, managers, they all speak to me all the time. I said, well, why are you telling me? Tell them. Tell them. Tell me. Tell them. Well, I want to work with him, don't I? Well, why are you telling me? Don't ring me and tell me. Don't do it. Unless I like you. But, yes, they do to me. But not, I don't know. Everyone is in, in the industry knows what's going on, but they don't say a word. Yeah, they do to me, but not on their social media account. So I want to give a mention out to Neil Marsh for making a stand. Neil Marsh stood up to it all, didn't he? He's got to be given credit. He told it as he sees it. He's a hardcore, hardcore. So well done to Neil Marsh. First time I ever spoke to Neil Marsh, we didn't get on so good. But I respect him for what he's done there. He's going to do the best for his lad, isn't he? But let's have it right. David Evenetian flogs Josh Kelly to death, in my opinion. Flogs him. I think it's his easiest fight. Scared to death, Kelly. He's a, he's a superstar, isn't he? Over three rounds. Typical. There's another Audley Harrison. Uh, so I want to give a special mention to Neil Marsh for making a stand. But will Steffi Bull make a stand? For example. He's got a Doncaster uh, girls, Terry Harper, she's a two belt world champion. She's now promoted by Macho. But who got her there? Steffi Bull got her there, so he's got to be given credit for getting her the IBO world title, hasn't he? He's got to be given credit, so where credit's due. Not Eddie Hearn, if it was Steffi Bull. Not Eddie Hearn, it was Steffi Bull who delivered. But he is now like the rest of the promoters in that he has to tread water with his fighters now. For example, if you go and look at the last 10 shows that Steffi Bull's put on, all his fighters more or less won. I think out of the last 10 shows, is it 70 odd out of 80 fights won or something like that, and one draw or something? Because he's got to wait for a call. I understand where he's coming from with that, but you know, there's got. 
there's got to be something happening. They've got. To, why don't they just give him dates at Sky? I don't like him personally. He knows that. And when I see him, he's going to need security, isn't he? Because we're going to get at it. Me and him are going to get at it. It will happen. It will be this year as well. But they've got to give him dates, Sky, aren't they? Sky have got to give him dates. You can't just expect people to pad kids' records out waiting for Sky to knock at the door. They've got to give him dates. You've got to take risks with your fighters. Neil Marsh took risks with David Evanesian, didn't he? Steffi's got to take risks. I've said, uh, I've said the same with Den. He's his own man. Tommy Frank's got a world title fight, and Josh Whale will fight for a world title this year at some stage, but... Dennis is his own man. They're not padding kids out to go on Sky. Is, is, that, your, is that your module? We'll pad it out. We'll put loads of people on show with padded records. We're losing records. And we'll wait for Sky to call. Why don't Sky give Steffi Ball a date? He's got some decent fighters. He's got young Tomlinson, well to eight. What's we'll he, 12 and 0? Why don't give him a Sky date? Let him get David Allen on show. Let him have a date. No mind Matchroom having the date in Donny. Give him a date, because Sky can't fill the dates. Sorry, Matchroom can't fill the dates. Share the dates out. Give Steffi and Ryan one. Give Carl Greaves one. Give Neil Marsh one. That's three dates there. Give Dennis a couple. That's five. Give Dominic Ingle one. His mum Alma's got a promoter's licence. Give Shinfield's one. Share them out. Give Phil Jeffries one up north, my pal. You mind all all dates? It's a monopoly. I don't agree with it. So... Yeah, Steffi got half of the IBO in here and now calling shots. That's how it looks. Tails wagging dog now. Like I said earlier, Matchroom don't invest in kids. The EIS is lottery funded. The EIS lottery fund does job for her and Steffi Bullwee's IBO belt and Denny Sobson with uh, IBF, IBF McDonnell, Frank Warren with Cleverly, Gavin Reese, Burns, Ennessy with Frotch. The list goes on and on where people have had world champions and they still end up going capping hand to match them. I'm not saying all them fighters went capping hand to match them, but we all saw the press conference with Peter Fury, Yui and Mick Hennessy sat there, didn't we? I'm not going to say any more, but you think Mick Hennessy were happy having to sit there knowing that this man's uh, promoting his fighters. He's had Carl Frotch, he's had Barker, he's had DeGale, they've all been with Hennessy. Chris Eubank Jr. turned pro with Mick Hennessy. So, uh, so that's that. If you're not subscribed, hit the red button below. If you can't be bothered, who cares? Who's supporting boxing? Out of everybody. Who, who really supports boxing and watches these channels? All these people keep saying they're hardcore boxing fans. Eh? I'm an hardcore boxing fan, me pork, are you? If you're an hardcore boxing fan, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I love it if you're hardcore boxing fans. But let, let's have it right. Let, let's let's have it right if you're an hardcore boxing fan. How many shows a year do you really gutter? How many? How many shows a year? I'm curious, just as to how many because I think that a lot of people who say they're hardcore they text me, I'm coming to the show Russ, Dennis's show brilliant, brilliant let's see you there, some people come some don't but everybody wants to be hardcore don't they oh, I'm hardcore me well how many shows a year do you go to if you're hardcore alright but I mean, it's not as many as me but how many do you go to? How many? It remains to be seen, doesn't it? There's talkers and there's smoky bacon walkers. So... I know, I, I know I'm harsh and I'm very distrusting of the boxing industry. But if you're involved in it every day and stuff you hear, and it's a load of crap telling lies non-stop, nobody tells truth. Nobody tells truth, they're all liars. They're all liars. My mate once said to somebody, I want you to stop lying. He says, alright, I promise. He says, you're lying again. <laughs> it's a good one. But 
Let's hope that we get this coronavirus out of the way. Liverpool win the league. I'll win my bet. Be happy then. And that uh, these shows get sorted and we can get kids to world titles. I want to see some fighters start signing with Dennis and him be giving a proper opportunities with people because, like I said, Jamie McDonald, Stewie Hall, Carl Thompson, they were all unfancied, weren't they? Clinton Woods, Tommy Frank, Josh Whale, they're all unfancied. Well, Tommy's got his world title and Josh Whale will get one this year at some stage. So, look, imagine what Dennis could do with some uh, Olympians, eh? Is there a law that says Eddie Hearn has to have a pick at Olympics, eh? Start grooming them up there at the EIS, whispering in the ear, little tatar tay in somebody's ear hole. Is that fair for the sport? Is that right for the sport? Eh? It's not right, is it? I don't believe in that. I don't want to go on a crusade in that because Eddie Hearn's done a lot of good in boxing. But the man tells lies constantly, every day, lies. If anybody's got out to say, he can go on IFL and say it. He's got the platform, hasn't he? That's it. They are the in-house matchroom YouTube channel, aren't they? That's all it is. In-house. Just telling the truth for you. You tell the truth, nobody likes it. Come see me if you're not happy. You've got a problem with what I'm saying on here. Come see me. And let's see what you've got to say. Very approachable. Very approachable. Nobody's making any threats. Nobody's swearing. Nobody's threatening anybody's channel. We're talking boxing and I'm picking it apart. And from what I see, I don't like what I see. I kind of hoped I could make a change five years ago, but I don't know. I don't know if I have. I think if you could well if we're back up to seven years, like I just said, we have Frotch versus Boote, non-pay-per-view on a Saturday night. What have we got on what have we got next month? No disrespect, but we've got Terry Harper against Natasha Jonas as an headline on non-pay-per-view Saturday. So in seven years, would you say that the product has watered? I'm pleased for them kids going on show. They know what's going on, they all know boxing them on that show, but they're not on a rock boat like I am, are they? I'm prepared to say it, aren't I? Who's gonna take me on on this channel in a debate? I want you all to e email me. Anybody who's got, got a problem, they might come in and take your pictures of my house and that. Everybody knows where I live. Everybody. They might come in and take your pictures of my cars aren't driving that. That's not good. It's daft. Come and knock on the door or phone me. Get my number off somebody, phone me and come on the channel. I'll whip camera out in seconds. And let's have a debate. If you're not happy, that's all we can do with debate. We try and make the sport better. I have debates all the time with people, with my friends from London, Rico and Terry. Well, Rico's from Finland actually, just lives in London, but we have debates all the time. We don't fall out, we have debates. I've had a couple of strops with Terry. But the good boxing people. Well, that were good, wasn't it? I should reverse up and whack him there. Oh, he's put his hand out to apologise. I let him off. Pull him out in front of me. But the uh, point I want to make is that things have got to change for the better. They've got to change, surely to God. They've got to change. They've got to change, surely to God. I just want to see things change. I don't think that's a lot to ask, is it? I don't think it's a lot to ask at all. But things have got to change for better. Like I've just said to you there, Frotch Boote, non-pay-per-view on a Saturday night. Harper versus Jonas, non-pay-per-view on a Saturday night. That's seven years to the week. That is a watered down product. No, eight year. Seven years since uh, Frotch Kessler. Was it before Kessler before Boote? Yeah, Boote 2012, Kessler 2013, May. Groves, Frotch Groves. 
Ah, Kessler were pay per view, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's eight year. Frotch Boutte, eight year ago, May. Non pay per view. The Kessler were pay per view. Carl had to earn his right to be pay per view on Sky. He had to earn the right to be pay per view. Jamie McDonald never got it. Look at all the fights he delivered for Sky. He went in a right run. What did he beat? Five world champions? More than Tony Bellew, more than Tyson Fury, as many as Anthony Joshua. Jamie McDonald never got a pay per view, did he? Hey, never got a pay per view, and he's shot to bits now. Him and his brother, apparently, both finished. If they weren't finished, they'd fight Josh Whale, wouldn't they, and grow a pair. Josh beats both of them now, he's too fresh. Believe what you want to believe. If Gavin McDonald and Jamie want to fight Josh Whale, they speak to the teams, don't they? And let's get it on! Because we don't get along! Magic press conferences. <laughs> Woo hey? I'd love them press conferences, love them. Uh, I'm trying to think which way it is now. Oh, yeah. So I think that's about it, really. Have a look. 21 minutes. The bane of my existence, traffic lights. Yeah, it's the bane of my existence. The bane of my existence. Look at this, there's always one in there. There's always one doiler in the pulling up. Look at that, just turn right there with no signal on. As you do, like you do. Fucking hell, what's he doing in here? That was a late signal, wasn't it, mate? We've got to liven it up a bit, haven't we? Otherwise, we're never going to get there. Well, if people want to put the signals on late, that's up to them, isn't it? The point I'm trying to make is this. Boxing's got to change. Boxing's got to change. So has my driving habits. I'm always in a rush, there's not enough time in day. Sunday dinner in there. Bridgeway Arms. This is where all rich folks live. Oh, I think I've got Dennis here. Oh, oh. Have I? Is that Dennis? Oh, look. It is. It's a flashing. Oh no, it in. Thought it was Dennis. That car must be dead common. That's two I've seen up here today. I'm not beating Dennis because this is a right beast. It's an exhaust job. It's exactly the same colour. Yeah, I just think that boxing's got to change and Eddie Hearn's got to change. They're, he's the number one promoter in world boxing, not Bob Arum. It's Eddie Hearn. He's the man. He's the man that puts the effort in. Nobody can say he doesn't put the effort in. Nobody can say that at all. Nobody. Nobody can say that at all. The man's an hard worker, but the man's also a born liar. And they've got their narratives that they're spinning. The latest one that they're spinning is all our shows are on. Well, not according to the sports minister who's good friends with people that I know. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, not according to that, Edward. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. So, match them kicking and screaming. They'll be wanting pay per view. Fights at your call on pay per view while we're all sat dying with coronavirus. That's what's going to happen, I'm telling you now. Sure as eggs are eggs. 
all they're bothered about is pound notes. They won't be able to cope paying people with no shows on. Hey, so that about? What is all that about? Hey, what is all this about here? Driving on bleeding train tracks. Hey, what's all this about? Train track patrol. It's not good. There's a speed camera down here that gets me every time somewhere. If anybody wants to go to a good kebab house round here, there's one round, there's one down here, chili banana I think it's called. I think it's a kebab house or burgers and that's supposed to be really good. All you Sheffielders who come up here. probably been to this place here, Chili Banana. I bet Luke and Nicky have, haven't you Nicky? I bet they go in here, Luke and Nicky Smedley. They'll, they'll probably go in Chili Banana, order loads of tucker, and woman goes, ah, there's no charge to you lads. <laughs> Just don't kill us in our beds. <laughs> we go. Oh my God, that's how much I know. It's not even there no more. It's called Indian Bangladesh. The Indians are taking over. Shows you how, how often I go there. Right, we can get the toe down now. I always feel like I'm sliding on these train tracks. Woo! Feel that then? Woo! See what I mean? That's where Dennis Jim is down there. Bleedless. good but it's all exciting isn't it as Mr Bean would say exciting times ahead this is why we love the sport so much Johnny <laughs> shout out to Johnny Nelson you know you've been watching my channel you know that Johnny don't you the man running around saying that I'm full of hate why am I full of hate Johnny just because I call you like that and you're bull I've just pointed out, Frotch Boote was eight years ago on non-pay-per-view. Eight years ago. Now we've got Harper Jonas, as I've just said. It's great for fighters, but let's have it right, they're all on chicken feed. A oh, lot of them. If they can get away with it, they're going to get away with it, aren't they? Some people just want to be on telly, don't they? But it is what it is, isn't it? I want to see... Natasha Jonas against Chantel Cameron or Terry Harper against Chantel Cameron that's the word in the industry that the winner of Terry Harper Jonas is going to fight Chantel Cameron that's from the horse's mouth so if Terry Harper can beat her she's got another headline coming up hasn't she so isn't that good isn't that good I think it's brilliant I think it's absolutely brilliant. What time is it? 11.16. 16 minutes late already. That's because I had to pull up. But safety is paramount. <laughs> safety is paramount. How I've got a clean license, I don't know. Sick of looking at your back end, mate. Yeah, so we're approaching the end of the video now, so you've got a two-parter there and hopefully on the way home I'll grab somebody on the phone and we can talk boxing. So I've got to go from here now, Derbyshire, to Crowell, up that end. It's all go, isn't it? It's all to do with channel as well. And the bleeding Sunday. Sunday. Not good. 
not good at all. I'm stuck behind here. 